My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make a 50s diner sign in Photoshop. So I've got my uh, empty paper, so I'm going to go over to the shape tool. It normally looks like this. I'm going to hold down, and I'm going to select the custom shape tool. And the shape I'm going to pick is actually it may not be there the first time you open this, so if you click this little button on the right and you go to arrows, you say OK, it'll give you a series of arrows. I'm going to pick this one because a lot of 50s diner signs have the sideways arrow. So I'm going to draw that. And then um, I'm going to use the marquee tool, which is right below the move tool. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say free transform path. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm just going to turn it. Mm. Yeah, actually, actually, I think it may be fine the way it is. Or no, I'm not to turn it that way. And then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to say flip horizontal. And actually, then what you can do is hold shift again and then, oops, do that. Whatever way you want it to point, I want it to point right. So this is the base of the sign. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to make another shape above it. I'm going to make it a rounded rectangle. Or actually, I'll go back to the custom shape tool and just see what I've got. Because there are some pretty cool shapes um, that Photoshop has to offer. Um, Actually, going to go ahead and use the triangle. It's going to be a different color. And I'm going to change my mind. I'm actually going to make it a, a, a rounded rectangle. Now, normally these signs probably aren't going to be like colored like that. So I'm going to go ahead and Actually, um, in my Layers panel, I'm going to go down to FX. I'm going to go to Stroke. And I'm going to make that a little thicker. I'm going to pick a different color. Use like an orangey yellow. All right, so we've got this. Now, the thing about the sign is, when you're making a 50s diner sign, you want it to have a glow to it because that's it's mostly like a neon kind of glow that you see in these situations. When you're making a diner sign, you want the text, but then on the inside you want the tubing to show because that's what's going to make it really look real. So I'm going to go ahead and pick another color. Oh, all right, and right now it's not showing because it's on the bottom. All right, so your font is up to you. Um, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it white with a uh, with a stroke on the outside. And there's your 50s diner sign. My name is Alex, and this is how you make a 50s diner sign in Photoshop. Thank you.